we have k plus 7 to the power of 2. This is equal to 25. So what is the value of k? Now let's provide a solution. We are going to solve this algebra problem by applying three methods. So let's start with method 1. Now, we have k plus 7 raised to the power of 2. This is equal to 25. Now, k plus 7 to the power of 2, this is in the form of a plus b raised to the power of 2, which we can express as a squared plus b squared, then plus 2ab. Applying this algebraic identity, then here we have k squared plus 7 squared, which is equal to 49, then plus 14k, this is equal to 25. Now let's take 25 on the left hand side, so that here we have k squared plus 14k plus 49, subtract 25, this is equal to 0. So now this is k squared plus 14k, then plus 49 minus 25, this is 24, this is equal to 0. Now this is a quadratic equation. We can solve this quadratic equation by factorization method, where we have the product equal to 24, and we have that the sum is equal to 14. This is actually 14. So these two factors, these two factors, this is this is 12 and 2. So that if you say 12k plus 2k, this is equal to 14k. And if we say 12 times 2, this is equal to 24. So we can substitute this into the equation so that we have k squared plus 12k plus 2k plus 24. This is equal to 0. So from the first part here, we find that k is common. So we can factor out k so that we have k. Into the parentheses, we have k plus 12, then plus. The second part here, we have that 2 is common, so we can factor out 2, so that we have k plus 12, this is equal to 0. So this implies that here, we have k plus 12, and then we have k plus 2, this is equal to 0. Now we have two parts here, we have k plus 12, this is equal to 0, and that we have k plus 2, this is equal to 0. So that now k1 is equal to minus 12, and that k2 here, this is equal to minus 2. Now, let's take method 2, let's move to method 2. Method 2, remember we have k plus 7, this is the power of 2, this is equal to 25. Now, let's take 25 on the left hand side, so that we have k plus 7, this to the power of 2, minus 25, this is equal to 0. Now, this is k plus 7, this to the power of 2 minus 25, which is 5 to the power of 2, this is equal to 0. This equation here is in the form of a squared minus b squared, which we can express as a plus b, then a minus b. Applying this property, then we have here k plus 7, then plus 5, and then here we have k plus 7, subtract 5, this is equal to 0. So that now we have k plus 7 plus 5, this is 12, multiplying by k plus 7 minus 5, this is 2, this is equal to 
zero. So we have two parts here. We have k plus 12. This is equal to zero. And we have here k plus two. This is equal to zero. So this implies that k1 here is equal to minus 12. And here we have k2 is equal to minus 2. So we find that k1 is minus 12 and k2 minus 2. So this is the solution by applying method 2. So let's move to method 3. Method 3. Now, in method 3, we have k plus 7 raised to the power of 2. This is equal to 20. So here we apply the square root on both sides so that we have the square root of k plus 7 raised to the power of 2. This is equal to plus or minus the square root of 25. So now here we have, we eliminate the square root sign here so that now we have k plus 7 this is equal to plus or minus the square root of 25, which is equal to 5. Now, here we have k plus 7. This is equal to plus or minus 5. So this implies we have k plus 7. This is equal to 5. And here we have k plus 7. This is equal to minus 5. So we can solve for k1 here. Let's take plus 7 on the right hand side so that we have k1 is equal to minus, that is minus 7 plus 5. And this means that k1 is equal to minus 2. On the other hand, we have k plus 7. This is equal to minus 5. So let's take plus 7 on the right hand side so that now k2 is equal to minus 5 subtract 7 and this means that k2 here is equal to minus 12. So the next step from here is to verify. So let's verify. Let's verify that k1 and k2 satisfies the equation. So we have that k1 can call this one as minus 2 and k2 being equal to negative 12. Now, if you recall, if you recall, we have that k plus 7 raised to the power of 2. This is supposed to give us a value of 25. Now, k1 is minus 2, so we have minus 2 plus 7 raised to the power of 2. This should be equal to 25. So, minus 2 plus 7, this is 5 raised to the power of 2, this is equal to 25. So it's clear that 5 squared is 25, which is equal to 25. The left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side. Let's check for k2, which is minus 12. Now here we have minus 12 plus 7 raised to the power of 2. This is supposed to give us a value of 25. Minus 12 plus 7, this is minus 5, raised to the power of 2, and this should give us a value of 25. So this is minus 5 squared, which is 25, and this is equal to 25. So the left add side is equal to the right add side, and this proves that both k1 and k2 satisfies the equation. So can you follow the steps? Like this video and country subscribe please subscribe see you in the next video